So I'm looking at a bottle of Manchego vodka. 12 month old aged Manchego vodka. Which the word dishwasher came out of your mouth. So what? This is to, you know, heat it up, then cool it down? Uh, to infuse the cheese into the vodka quickly. So if you're, you're running a bar and you're going through this very quickly, mm -hmm. you can toss it in the dishwasher, good. or I've seen bars use sous vide machines. Yes. All right. Marmalade. And we need juice from about half a lemon. Right, egg whites, cream, and of course, Manchego vodka. What? You don't have Manchego vodka in your fridge? We're not animals here. So, yes, Manchego vodka. What's that about? Well, again, gotta give all credit to Mr. Bot on this one. He explained it to me. And yeah, when we're making up that cocktail, you're gonna love the end result of this. Pretty simple to make, too. Get yourself a bottle of vodka. You gotta pour out maybe half a pint just to make a little room in that glass, which, you know, we'll clearly have a purpose for that later on. And then you wanna grate down, he said, about a half a pound of cheese. I'm gonna say, Manchego is so bloody good, I, I might do a little more, honestly. This, this just utterly blew my frickin' mind when I tasted it. I was drinking little glasses of it on my own, and uh, yeah, when he rocked it out in the mixer, holy crap. All right, got our cheese ground down, got our vodka with something of a makeshift funnel in the top of it. Let's see just how easy or how much of a train wreck it is. Try to get this down inside of her. Hey, not going too badly. It's like a little snow globe in there. What's the next step in this process? Well, heating it up for a while. You want to give this a really good ability to infuse all of that flavor into the vodka. We're going to use our sous vide cooker for this. However, I do love the fact that when Bot was telling me about this, he said, yeah, in a, in a restaurant or a bar that just has a really, you know, high turnover with this and they really need to keep pumping it out, you can just kind of wing this into the dishwasher with the glassware, and that's enough on one cycle to kind of give it what for. I love that idea. I'm not actually going to put this in my dishwasher, mostly because it's still running right now. It's on the plopped it in there. I'm not sure for what temperature. I'm not sure for how long, so we're going to leave it to how it was set the last time I made a steak. Call it good at kind of hot for kind of a while. Mmm. It's rolling pretty well now. By the way, just so you can understand the, the life I live here, my wife came in the kitchen and asked what was happening, and I said, well, I'm manchegoizing the vodka. Her response was... Jack, 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 Jack. Yep. She's a keeper. So good. This is this is like trippy just to watch. Hey. We're coming from behind the bar because it's another cocktail video for you. This one, this is a unique one, I'm not gonna lie. When Manchego vodka is involved, you know it's not it's not the huge. This is called a Toledo Spain. And it's this really neat, it's I mean it's in the vein of being a flip, although it's not exactly a flip. Uh well, you know, it, it uses an egg white, it's shaken, it's it's got a dry shake involved. Sure, we'll call it a flip unlike you've ever had. Starting off, two ounces of that Manchego vodka, which is not as hard to make as you might imagine. The cream is going to go in. Just a half ounce of cream. Not a lot on the cream. And then if you want to do the whole chef step, separate an egg white, go for it. We keep egg whites around for a lot of stuff we make in the kitchen. A One egg, if you get the egg white out of it, it's going to be between an ounce and an ounce and a quarter usually. 
So we'll just call that kind of a kind of a heavy ounce. All right, almost there. Need two more things. One, it's going to be a little sweetness. Again, we don't like to do a whole lot with sugar. My wife and I cut down pretty hard on it. But the little uh, orange marmalades, these little kind of travel ones, you can get these in some hotels and such. Bonnie Mama's makes a pretty nice one. I would call this kind of a heaping teaspoon of that. Or one of these individual jars that you can liberate from wherever it is you're staying that's got posh, high thread count sheets. And then juice from half a lemon. As we've covered, I think, in a previous cocktail video, a lemon, Mr. Bot instructed me of this, and it, you know, I thought he was pulling my leg. It's perfect every time. Your average size lemon is going to give you about an ounce and a half of lemon juice. So half a lemon, about, you know, three quarters of an ounce. Now, are we going to chill this down? We are, but because it's a flip, you do a dry shake first, which is a shake with no ice. That's just to get some of that foam going. And get some of it on your hands slightly. But once that egg foam has started to really incorporate in and froth up a little bit, go ahead and add your ice. We are making an absolute mess here. Who gives a goddamn? And I don't know if I have my strainer. We're going to have to do this the, uh, the old-fashioned way here. How much of a mess can I make here? Oh, not as much of a mess as you might think. Groovy. Now, if you have some nutmeg you like to put on that, that's pretty orthodox. Uh, I have seen people talk about garnishing it with a dehydrated orange, which I might even have. Let me go take a look and see what I got. Pretty darn good. We'll hang a little dehydrated orange on there. And just if you want to give it a little more hit, I sometimes use a bit of food grade orange oil in an atomizer. Yeah, that is pretty darn nice. Mm. Yeah, just, just the fruit kind of wakes it up just slightly. Oh, baby. Holy shit, yeah. The extra little, little blast of orange oil. If you get some orange essential oil, food grade, put it in a little atomizer, give it a toot. That, that'll do some fine things. All right. Salud. Hey, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Most of you are familiar at this point with our, with our Pelican case of prizes. Most of you are probably also familiar with how this works. Step one, I reach in and uh, find something, which, uh, okay. Right on. You might not know what this is. Looks kind of, well, it's clearly illuminating and it's got a little, uh, you know, connectors for a battery on the bottom. The way this works is this is an emergency flashlight. I forgot I had these. I think I have another one. Might show up in a later video. So if you want to throw something super lightweight and easy to transport in your bug out bag or your emergency supplies or in your truck, you know, this is what you get. And anybody, the theory goes, could come across some 9 volt batteries. If you do, Go ahead and just click this together, and then it becomes a multi-phase flashlight that can be, you know, actually pretty goddamn bright when you turn all the LEDs on. But yeah, there you go. So like one pair, two pair, or all pair, or no pairs. Uh, keep this around. Battery not included. I will send this to anyone who sounds off in the comments. Well, one of the anyones who sound off in the comments. The way this works is we pick a word each week. Uh, it's always tasty things that you should put into your belly or into your face hole. Uh, what have I been eating? Oh, you know what? Tonight we uh, we steamed some artichoke. Today's food or drink word is artichoke. So if you include that in the comments, we'll do the random internet scriptum thing. And one of you will get chosen, and I will respond to you, probably also in the comments, because YouTube doesn't have, you know, direct messages. Uh, I'm not good at this. I don't give a shit if you subscribe or like or share this video. I don't have a Patreon, but I have wonderful people who watch sometimes. So if you want this little, uh, you know, emergency light, artichokes down below me. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Stay safe out there. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Maximum effort. Like, it's so... So powerful, so good. Oh my God.
Oh my god, you have no idea.